Well, I got my beard in order, so it's time to go. Hey you, my name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now just the other day I was complaining to a friend of mine, marketing guru, about how I'm getting bored of my vlogs and wanted to mix it up. So he's like, why don't you just take them along with you on some of your work that you do regularly anyway? So I'm like, yeah, why not? And I'm taking you along. So I got my tripod slash shoulder mount. I got my lenses, flash if I need it, though it's mostly video this time. Audio stuff, SD cards, batteries, let's go. Although I won't be saying much until later because it's gonna be a concert. So in an effort to save you and your ears from Balkan Pop, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the concert challenges. Of course, if you're interested in photo related video topics around the world, video gigs and things like that, subscribe to my channel. I make videos on the topic every single Wednesday. Obviously, the first thing, it is extremely dark. And even at my F2A and F1.8 lenses, I had trouble keeping up. While sensors are getting super good in low light, the A7 II is already lagging behind and shooting at 10,000 ISO and higher really damages the footage, which isn't really that great in the camera in the first place. Now, I've always been a fan of Dutch tilts because they have a unique feel, but I particularly like this look for concerts. And so far, everyone has been loving it. Well, except Addis. I also realized a more direct reason for why I use it. I love shooting at 50 or 60 frames per second. It kind of adds drama and accentuates emotion as well as smoothing out the footage, but it does take away from the dynamics because things are moving slower. It's not as fast. So if you have like a, high, a pumped up scene that's moving really fast, but then you know it kind of looks slow in slow motion you have to make up for it so to add back the dynamics i started to do the dutch tilt move in every shot which adds movement to any shot regardless what kind also connecting the various focal lengths and style shots into one continuous flowing video now for this concert i used three lenses the 19 millimeter sigma is the only wide lens i have at the moment and it's f 2.8 but since it's crop it's not as sharp and clean as a full frame lens would be. So I often get quite noisy and soft footage from it. I'm looking into getting something wider and also full frame like the um, like the Samyang 14 millimeter F2.8. The 50 millimeters, which I've had for several years is my favorite. It's really sharp even at F1.4, but it's pretty old and the focus ring isn't really smooth. So it creates a lot of shake when I rack focus. Being manual on Sony isn't really a problem though, because I'm used to shooting video in manual. And lastly, thanks to Addis, I have the 85 millimeter F1.8, which is irreplaceable for concerts, can do close-ups from pr pretty much any position in the room. And if I get up really close, I can do like face shots and what you saw it. And you mix all those shots together and you pretty much have a nice recap of the concert. With all these challenges we had to face, it was not the easiest video to shoot, but I think it was worthwhile. Tell me what you guys think of this video. If you like coming along for one of my work gigs. Thank you so much for stopping by. Like and subscribe to support and get more of the content that we all love. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. <laughs> oh no, I just realized I had my headphones on the entire time. I keep forgetting to take them off when I'm testing sound. Damn it.